It's Thursday. It's one of the most exciting days of the week because it's the day before Friday. <laughs> Friday's uh, an exciting day. It's Thursday at 2 o'clock. Uh, the show is called At Home with Charlene. And this is quite a lady. Um, I got to know her in the last several months. She runs a mortgage company here in Valencia. And the show's not about mortgages. The show's about life. And mainly it's about real estate because real estate's our biggest investment, Charlene. That's right. One of our most uh, important investments. One of the most pr- important purchases someone's going to make. Today, I'm excited about the show. Uh, genuinely excited. I say that almost every week, but today I'm really excited. I bought my home based on a picture, on a photo. Yeah. Most people do decide to look at a home further based off a picture that they're looking at on the internet or um, that their agent sent over to him. So pictures say a thousand words. So we're going to talk to Matt in a second. He's an mm-hmm. expert. So if you're thinking about selling home, I, I imagine he does other kind of photos too. I mean, right? Uh, I do, yeah. Um, primarily my focus is architectural and uh, and real estate photography um, because it's very specific. Um, architectural, that's a big, big word. Yeah. I don't use the word architectural. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What kind of architecture beside a home? Uh, churches, oh, hotels, churches. Um, oh, okay. stuff like that. Any, any type of business yeah. that needs photography for websites yeah. and stuff like that. No kidding. I see pictures all the time of churches and hotels. Yeah, and you're the one that's doing it. That makes sense. Everyone needs a website. So do you know what business Charlene is in, Matt? Yeah, she's in mortgage. Right, and you know that she's the number one in Santa Cruz. So people who are going to refinance their house, buy a home, need money, they call Charlene. Yeah, I, I wasn't aware that she was number one, but that's great. Yeah. Do, do you need a mortgage today by any chance? I, I don't See, we've got you in the studio, so <laughs> <laughs> everything but got you handcuffed, you know. So you got to get a mortgage before you get out of here. You've been talking to my realtor, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Cody? When are you, you getting the mortgage? i got to get a loan for her today somehow. Yeah, well, you know, I think I'm a, I'm a little ways off right now. You are? Yeah, I'm a little bit short. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk to Matt. Uh, what's the name of your company, Matt? Uh, it's called Estate Media Services. Nice, nice name. That's a nice name, Estate Media Services. Yeah, I was trying f- trying That's to find a good something. architectural name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was trying to find something where there was still a URL available. Yeah, and then Kim's with us. Kim, how do you pronounce your last name? Capellish. Oh, that's easy, Kim Capellish. And we're gonna kind of hold you off because what you do is really exciting. What Matt does is exciting, but what you do is really exciting. But don't tell anybody. Okay. We'll make them come back. Make them keep listening. Perfect. And I'm serious when I say that, too. Okay. Right? Yours has something to do with flowers, I bet. Um, or two. Or how much are we revealing? Yes. Yeah, we're not going to reveal much. So Christmas was good for the Gill family? Christmas was good. Did you get anything cool? Yeah, I got a bunch of jewelry, body Ju- spray. You're not a jewelry you know, girl. I don't. Girl are you stuff. wearing jewelry? I have my wedding ring. Okay. I have my earrings, but you okay. can't see them under the headphones. No. So girls like jewelry. I get it. Okay. We, we like jewelry. That's what my wife And we collect wants. multiple pieces that we won't wear and we put in a jewelry box. Yeah. You know, and you pick out your five, six favorites, but you know, that's how it goes. Yeah. Look what I got, a Fitbit. You did? Yeah. I like to walk. Do you walk? I walk. You exercise? So I do like five or six miles. And the Fitbit, before I got it, I, I always was a gym rat, but I never walked. Now, because of Fitbit, I walk five, six miles a day. Walking's good. Do you have a New Year's resolution? No. I don't either. I don't. I don't. What about you, Matt? Uh, I don't like to make resolutions at New Year's. If I want to change something, I do it when yeah. it needs to be done. Yeah. Yeah. It's overrated. Uh, Kim, I, what about you? Every year, I try to make one uh, resolution that has to do with what I'm going to do in my diet just to kind of change it up. And diet? You're not mm-hmm. two pounds overweight, girl. Stop oh, it. Oh, no. I mean, just health-wise. Oh. Just, you know, cutting out sugar, cutting out, yeah. you know. So you could help me cut something. out. Do you cut out sugar? I try to do paleo as much as possible, Mm -hmm. but, um, you know, everybody has their weaknesses, especially around the holidays. I definitely have not followed that, but I try to do one small thing every year to just by the end of the year, if I can eradicate that or um, change it and make it a little bit less. That is a good idea. I like that. Just, Just one little goal. Or theme. Otherwise, you give mm-hmm. up, right? Yeah. In a month, it's well, all like, what? no, I'm over what's, it. What's the, t- what, I mean, statistically, what do we, what do you, how long do you keep a New Year's resolution? Weeks, a month? Two seconds. I mean, you don't even <laughs> keep them. I mean, people join a gym 
I've, I've been involved in uh, belong to LA Fitness. I belong to a couple of gyms, but they're, they're packed in January. They're absolutely packed. Yeah, on the second. And then come <laughs> March, nobody. I'm the only guy in the gym. On the third, no one's there. <laughs> no one's there. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so what? 2018 is just literally a couple of days away. Mm-hmm. Any. Thing, any exciting news about the mortgage industry or real estate you know, industry? We, we have a lot of um, exciting information coming up, but what I really wanted to touch on um, coming towards the end of the year was going to be prepping your house to list it and get it on the market. We've talked previously in a few shows the lack of inventory we have in the market. Um, we talked about you know the average days on market being about 20 days. Um, but if you're really looking for top dollar, I wanted this show to be about how you're going to get top dollar for your house. And it comes from photos and it comes from staging properly. Um, so I wanted to give uh, everyone today and the listeners today just some ideas on how to get the most out of your home when you're going to list it what this year. What a great year. theme. You're listening to At Home with Charlene on KHTS award-winning radio right here in Southern California. Don't forget you can listen on hometownstation.com and go to the app store and download the app KHTS and you can take us everywhere. I mean literally 24 hours a day. But I love this top dollar. So if we can get top dollar for your real estate, I think we this will be a podcast. It will be mm-hmm. up tonight. But we need to charge like $1,000 for the podcast. Come on, <laughs> well, let's make some money. Well, you know, everybody money. thinks their property is worth more than what everybody. it is. Everybody, right. But if you truly want the most out of your property, you have to do these things that we're going to discuss today. Where do we start? I wanted to introduce Matt Davis. Okay. Um, I've seen a lot of his work. I've seen a lot of his photos. And when I look at the pictures he's done, um, I really feel that it brings a new light to the property. My favorite is technically the twilight photos. Yeah, those I are think those I, I, I love those too. So Matt, I, I have Matt here. He's going to discuss a little bit about you know what to do for photos, what what you should be looking for, and, and how to go about that process. So Matt. Well, what's a twi- Let's go slow here, oh, though. Yeah. What's a twilight? Matt? A, a twilight is a photo that's taken at a very specific time during the day. There's really only about a 10-minute window, depending on the time of year, um, where that photo can be taken. And what you're looking for is the balance between the ambient exposure of the inside of the house um, and the sky itself. Um, so if you take it too late, then the inside is really bright and overblown and, and uh, it gets really orange. Um, and if you take it too early, then you then there's no glow in the windows. So what you're looking for is like a nice, pretty glow in the windows, a little bit of a yellow color cast from some of those tungsten lights inside the house, um, and just like a real nice, pretty sky um, up at the top. And uh, typically, the most real estate photographers will do a sky replacement if there's if there's not a whole lot of um, really nice uh, sky that's that's available. So uh, those, those can be done. But um, what it really does is it creates like a nice, warm, inviting uh, photo that grabs your attention right off the bat. That was the air conditioning, ladies and gentlemen, that we just <laughs> turned off. Uh, I don't even know you, but I like you. I just, I mean, literally that last present, that elevator mm-hmm. pitch, I'd hire you in a heartbeat. <laughs> but uh, you'll see the difference between twilight pictures and your regular pictures. Ambient light, really? Fo- uh, is a website, or I guess in contact, uh, photography at Matt, right? Yep. Matthew. Ma- photography, what's your... Uh, is this email or what is this? Yeah, that's that's my email. It's photography at matthewjdavis.com. And right. then just flip it for the URL. It's matthewjdavis.com slash photography. Wow, I'd hire you in a heartbeat. I mean, that was a great elevator. So uh, keep going. I mean, so ambient light, I, all this stuff is crazy. I mean, that, it, that Charlene, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, because what you'll see is, uh, you know, sometimes an agent will run through a property and just shoot a, f- a couple photos with their cell phone. But that doesn't give the house um, what, what, all what it entails. You, you really need a, a professional photographer to come out to really sell that house. Just a little bit extra for, their, for those photos um, makes a big, huge difference in the presentation that is seen online. Well, the theme of the show, how to get top dollar out of your home, uh, is, is perfect today. The show is called At Home with Charlene. So, Matt... Um, when you look at, I bought, I was telling you before we started the show, I bought my home based on a picture. Yeah. So whoever, I don't know who took it, but I'm telling you just what you said in the last minute, the right, the lighting, the right, everything you said uh, makes people curious. And isn't, mm-hmm. Charlene, isn't that where you start? I think so. And I think not only the quality of picture, but the amount of photos that you're taking too, because 
it's my understanding thir 32 or 34 photos is the requirement for... I think it's a higher placement on homes.com. Is that right? Yeah. gives you higher placement on your listing. So if more photos okay, are back taken... Up. What, is, what do you mean? Explain to our listeners. What, what do you mean? So the, certain website syndications. So you have your multiple listing statement, which is where, or multiple listing service, which is where uh, the, ML, list, uh, the, uh, yeah. the MLS, and yeah. that's where the that's where the the listing uh, gets input by the real estate agent, and that's where they put the photos okay. of the property. Uh, all of the MLSs have um, syndication feeds out to most of the major um, players in the real estate game. You've got like homes.com, realtor.com, uh, Zillow, Redfin, those types of things. Wow. And and are they posted smaller. for free on these sites? Uh, yes, uh, kind of. So what happens is, is, uh, you can't have any branding. Uh, so you can't put your name or your, or your phone number on those photos. Uh, you can't have your sign in any of the photos because the, those syndication sites receive, they pay the MLS to receive the feed. Um, and then they advertise, um, on those sites, um, want to take a look at this home, try the, try these three realtors. They were top rated on our site. So they, they get the realtors to pay for advertising. Um, and that's how they typically make their revenue. So, uh, uh Cody, wake up, uh, <laughs> is Charlene's picture. It's awesome. It, it, are we live Facebook? We need to be live Facebook. We're not live right now, but they will see it on YouTube very shortly. Really? Yes. In like a week. I think we need to figure out a way Less to do a Facebook Live. Well, we can do Facebook Live. Yeah. I'll show you. We'll, uh, We're we'll, going to do that, so we yeah, can... We can. I'll do Facebook Live in the next segment. How's, how do you like that? So, Matt, keep going. I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, you're listening. Uh, see, listeners only listen in seven-minute increments. Did you know that? They get yeah. in the car. Yeah, there's really only two times you can do Twilight, which is uh, the morning morning as the sun is coming up, and then uh, at night just after the sun uh, just is gone. So after the sun is gone. Yeah, and the and the overall ambient light outside is starting to. Now, what could you decrease. do with my face? Could we, uh, if I want to take a new photo for the station, is there any? What do we need to do at night? Dark. I, <laughs> well, <laughs> natural no light. Yeah. Um, there, there was a guy on on uh, on YouTube I saw that turned a slice of pizza into a supermodel. So, if we, if, uh, I think Photoshop can do anything. There you go. <laughs> nice. We're gonna make you a supermodel, coach. So, what what, what questions uh, would you have, Charlene, of this gentleman? I'm going to hire him. I don't know why, but I just, I like what he said in that one minute thing. Yeah. I mean, the, I, I've seen Matt set up for his photo shoots and I see the equipment he uses and the lighting that he has and the professional job that he does. And it just sets aside from, like I said, just a, a, a bunch of photos off of your cell phone. You know, you put those in there, you're 10 times more likely to sell that listing or to sell that home with excellent professional photos because that's what sells the property. Um, I mean, everyone's looking online for, you know, their home before they contact somebody nine times out of 10. Mm -hmm. And you are going to lead what you're researching with a phone call at some point. So if you have excellent photos of that property and you really capture the essence of that home, you're going to make a phone call. If yeah. you see photos where the toilet seats are up in the bathroom and, you know, there's just robes hanging all over the sides and those aren't inviting photos that are going to say, oh, I want to go see that property, yeah. you know? Yeah, My favorite on. is when you're looking at a room and you see partial of two walls and that's it. That's the whole room because that's <laughs> what fits on a cell phone camera. Right. You hire a professional. They have lenses where you can see that entire room, and they're also t shooting it from a perspective mm -hmm. that allows people to understand all of that space inside of that room. Yeah, the space is more realistic mm -hmm. when you're looking at a professional photo. But, And I'm also trying to get the point across, too, that if you're getting top dollar for your house, don't sell yourself short on your photos of your home because your photos of your home is probably, in my opinion, one of the most important things that you're going to do when you are trying to sell. Well, in, uh, in 2015, uh, Redfin did a study um, specifically targeting homes that utilize professional photographers. And uh, their results showed that homes that utilized a professional photographer sold 31% faster for an average of $18,819 more. Um, and that'll vary depending on in individual listing prices. But um, it, it's it's pretty remarkable the, the difference that it makes. And, and I see that. I, I'll, I will go shoot houses that have been on the market for months. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they just don't get much traction, and then you replace the photos, and all of a sudden they have several offers in a couple days. Mm -hmm. uh, so it really kind of it really transforms the buying process. 
Now, Travis, uh, uh, thank uh, his one. His, he loves listening to your voice. He's texting me here. His oh. question is about video. Is video more important? than still pictures? That's a great question, and it's, it's one that I get a lot. Um, I like video better because um, I'm getting an accurate representation of the house as I'm going through it. Um, but there's not a whole lot of statistics that show that if you pay for or use a video in your listing that it's that it gains more traction or, or sells for more money or sells faster. Uh, but I don't think there's been a whole lot of studies involved in that. Oh. So I like it. And it's a huge selling point for, for buyers. So if you're a real estate agent, and you're thinking of getting pictures, getting video is something that's really going that really makes an impact on your sellers. And you know, I think if you're out of the area, and you're an out of area buyer, and you're looking to come into a new area, let's just say you're you're trying to list here in Santa Clarita area and you're looking to move to a different city and maybe it's a little bit harder for you to get over to all these properties and see them. And, you know, I, I've seen a lot of the times uh, a client will ask uh, the real estate agent, can you go into the property, shoot me a quick video and send me the video. So if you have some pictures and you have a video already available, then it maybe goes to a little bit more of a, a you know, somebody look, looking outside to come into the city. Maybe it helps a little bit more of a broader perspective of buyer or sellers. Listening to At Home with Charlene, our show every uh, Thursday at 2, we, we, I think we've had very interesting guests on. We've had, we've had great really, guests. Really, every, every week. You're going to learn a lot about real estate. You're going to learn a lot about life. Uh, the question about the vi video. So I would, does this work where we take a video of Charlene working at her mortgage company. Well, is uh, is make is there her any, famous? Is there any proof that that she works? Oh. <laughs> but no, I'm serious. Video. I wonder if people would be curious to see this whole mortgage business that you run. Maybe. Yeah, I'm serious. Look at that picture back there. If you're tuning in, CSMC Mortgage. We Matt, we should do a video. Yeah, we're going to yeah. be different because different's good. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna come up with some original. What's different about you? We're going to come up with some different original ideas. I think my approach is different. Can you do one paper? If you could do a one paper mortgage app, that'd be nice. I would love that. Look at that beautiful picture. <laughs> you got a Rolex in there. Did you borrow that watch or is that your, really your Rolex? That, that's my watch, but it's a oh. fossil. It's a fossil. It's a close enough. Yeah. Oh, close enough. Yeah, <laughs> close enough. So video, uh, YouTube is, is YouTube. I'm always trying to figure out how I can get 5 million views, you know. On YouTube. Can you do Me that? Too. Yeah. You too? <laughs> That'd be great if we could all do that. Um, well, let's do a video of you. <laughs> okay. have, let bring Matt in and do a video sitting at your desk and whatever you do. Like Matt says, we don't know what you do. Right. And then we could post it and then okay. people could go. I'm serious. We'll do a day of working with Charlene. There, ooh, wouldn't that be cool? There you go. <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, our next guest coming in our next segment. And Matt, you don't have to go anywhere. You can stay. This lady... Uh, the the theme of the show is top dollar. We mm -hmm. want top dollar for your home, right? Right. We want you to be happy. Right. They get a mortgage with you. Right. And they sell their home at top dollar. Right. So and the they... next person, we, between Matt and this next person, that's all you need, right? Right. This and is this is how everyone needs to get started for the first of the year if they're thinking about selling their home and thinking about doing it right. I can't tell you what she does until we come back, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, take us out with some great uh, at home with Charlene every Tuesday at 2. Music. Cody, what do you got? Comfort Keepers provides your loved one with loving in-home care. Miles McNamara, certified senior advisor and owner of Comfort Keepers in-home care. Our caregivers can help you in your own home, enhancing independence, creating safety and comfort. Our Comfort Keepers provide companionship, meal preparation, medication reminders, assistance with personal care, and even transportation to doctor's appointments. If someone you love can use a helping hand at home, visit ComfortKeepers.com. Or call 287-4200. 
Weekends are now exciting in Santa Clarita as Persia Hookah Lounge hosts its House of Entertainment every weekend night from 8 to 11. Thursdays feature a DJ on the hookah patio. Stop by Fridays for performances by Belly Dancer of the Universe winner Jasmina or Saturdays to hear great local live bands. Persia Lounge also caters for both homes and businesses starting as low as $8. Discover Persia Hookah Lounge on Main Street where it's all happening in Old Town Newhall. Persia-Lounge.com the Las Vegas shooting created awareness for all of us. Awareness to upgrade security at concerts. Awareness for clearly marked exit signs. Awareness on how to evacuate safely. And awareness to have tighter hotel security. The law offices of Owen Patterson Owen are working diligently with Las Vegas victims to prevent future tragedies from occurring, as well as protecting the rights of Las Vegas victims to receive financial assistance for their ordeal. If you know someone impacted by the shooting, visit OPOLaw.com. That's OPOLaw.com. Hey there, I'm Tori with your hometown station weather. Sunny skies today with highs in the low 80s. Clear overnight with lows in the low 50s. More of the same for Friday and Saturday. It's Nathan Lindsay at the Main on Main Street in Newhall this Saturday, December 30th at 7 p.m. For more information, go to hometownstation.com. Hometown. They're amazing and every single one of their songs is amazing. Except for like one. Your hometown station. To at home with Charlene on KHTS 1220. And we were just talking with Matt Davis and we were going over the photos, the importance of photos, uh, specifically talking about twilight photos, uh, videoing your property, how to get your property prepared for the new year. Uh, and now that we've kind of went over uh, getting the photos and everything done, we have Kim who is going to talk about home staging and the importance of staging your home properly. Thank you so much for having me, Charlene. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah, glad to have you. And I know you have a bunch of statistical information to go over on the importance of having your home staged. And and we're talking about top dollar. And we're talking about if we are trying to get the most out of your property, some of the points that you want to make sure that you take into consideration your home photos and staging your property accordingly. So, Absolutely. I'm happy to go over some of the tips that um, we definitely recommend, but just to sort of make an impact on uh, how important staging is, it can sell homes um, even more than 70% faster. On, on average, it's 67% faster for up to 10% higher offers. I recently did a home in Northridge where they kind of came in and did some of the things that we're going to talk about today and staged it, and they had, got $40,000 over asking based on a bidding war. And of course there was great photos and the great staging. Mm -hmm. um, the seller always is going to, on average, earn two to three times back their investment on whatever they do with, in terms of prepping their home. So some statistics, 90% uh, of all buyers use the internet to search for properties. It didn't used to be that way you know, a mm -hmm. decade ago, even a few decades before that. Your only person that resource that had that information was the listing agent. And mm -hmm. so now it's all available to everybody online. 84% of the buyers reported that the photos to be the, the most useful information and the number one action taken after uh, seeing the online photos was to drive by or visit the home. So that's a pretty powerful statistic. 91% of all the home buying decisions are made by women. And that's another reason why people are doing more to make their homes seem warm and inviting and appealing mm -hmm. and a little more decorative. And 70% of women knew the first day they walked in uh, that it was the right house for them. So they're making those decisions quickly based on aesthetics. And I think that statement's true. I mean, when I bought my house, I walked in, obviously I had to be a little um, imaginative because it needed some work. It had a renter in there previously, and usually they're not so into the design and you know how the property looks, but it had to be a little bit creative, but you have to look at the overall, uh, I guess, image that the property gives to you. But 
it's there's nothing that's better than walking into a home and envisioning yourself living in that space with everything positioned right, with everything just clean, the clutter put away, not none of your personal items out, uh, and, and so that somebody can come right in and just say, I envision myself and my family living here, and, right? And I think that's what's so important about what Kim does is uh, you have a creative imagination, and so do I. I can walk into a property and mm-hmm. see its potential, but not everybody can. Um, and she takes that element out. You don't have to walk into the property and be creative and try to think of what you can do with the property. You walk in and it feels feels like you already live there. And, and, and I think that's what's super important about staging. The emotional impact is worth, you know, everything. Because mm-hmm. if somebody walks in and falls in love, it's mm-hmm. a done deal. And people are willing to pay more money for mm-hmm. a home that feels that way to them. And they don't have to walk in and overlook things. Everybody aspires to, you know, if you're purchasing a home, again, it is your biggest investment. You want to aspire to something that um, is beautiful and appealing and that other people will walk in and go like, wow, what did you just buy? You know? Right. So it's it's all of those factors kind of and rolled when you, in. When you're looking to buy a house and you're looking at property, are you not making a mental checklist of, oh, this needs to be fixed? Oh, I need a do something over here or, Oh, this isn't the type of flooring that I like, or, Oh, this is, you know, if you want to take that away, you want to take away all the items that somebody is coming in to check off in their mental calculation of what this is going to cost them to move into a new home. You know, I think when it's staged correctly, then it's like, Oh, this looks great. You know, you don't have that long checklist of items that need to be done. When it's empty, especially in a vacant home, that's all people can focus on because there's nothing there to sort of distract them from that. And in this day and age, people are looking for, you know, things that are already done for them. We're kind of in that instant gratification age where people don't want to do a lot of work. They don't want to uh, invest the time or the money. They want to work and move into something that's moving ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Would you re- would you recommend that people take out their twenty year old furniture and bring your stuff in? Absolutely. It depends on the objective and the style of the home. For instance, obviously there are historical homes where the you know certain types of furniture that people may already have may work. It may just need a little bit more massaging, and uh, a lot of it is balance inside of a home, and a, you know certain. Um, elements inside of the room are going to change people's perspective taking them in or out or just moving them to a different position in the room can make all of the difference on people how how people feel and it really is an emotional Mm -hmm. decision so all of those factors come into play some basic basic tips would be that um, decluttering cleaning the windows are super important especially if you have views if you have older window treatments definitely take those off i know people tell me yeah but i paid five thousand dollars for those but it's also one of the identifying factors of if that can be dated to 10 or 20 years ago it needs to come out because it's making the house how take on a different tone that it may be outdated or not kept up and that's not necessarily the the truth. If you take that off, people um, automatically assume that it's more updated. I want to go to one room of the house. You're listening to At Home with Charlene. uh, And who is Charlene? Let me tell you who Charlene is. She's somebody that can change your life. If you're interested in buying a home, if you're driving through Santa Cruz and you're thinking about living here, it's a great place to live. The city does a great job. Charlene's number one. Number one. Uh, in providing financing for your home. Uh, you call it mortgage? Is that how you refer to it? Mortgage, what do you, how do you mortgage, refer to it? It's yourself? mortgage lending, but I like to, I don't know, I have to have a creative name for it because it's not just giving a loan. It's giving somebody a, an experience because this is something that's going to affect their not only themselves, but their family. Now, do you serve liquor when somebody comes into your <laughs> office? What kind of experience are you talking about? Cody, what is she talking about here? Huh? Now, liquor preferable, right? It's no, if she, said, if she said that she was going to provide free dinner, uh, that's a nice Yeah, thing. right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, snacks, drinks, you know, yeah. things like I'm that. Gonna, but, but uh, Matt and I are going to video you. We're uh, Seriously, if I have to pay for it, I'm going to talk to Fred, but that would be cool. See? ESMC, just when you go to bed at night, what do you think about? Cody? Mortgages, always. That, yeah, I thought you th- thought about 
Charlene and mortgages. Well, naturally, one leads to the other. Oh, it starts right. with mortgage. See? We're going we're gonna to get a cool phone number. So if you're looking to get a hold of Charlene right now, is there a cool number? Uh, oh, here's the cool number. Ready? Uh, you know the area code, 661. But uh, remember this number, 206 3543. Cody, can you remember that? I think I can. 206. 206? 34. 34. No, 35. Oh, I, see, I, was, was I, was, I, was, I was tricking you. I want to three, make sure you five. got it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. People aren't going to remember the number. We're going to come up with a way. I think the video. We'll let Matt video. Then we'll let uh, Kim come over. And uh, What do you call it, Kim? It, it sh- feng shui? Do you feng shui your office? You know, I had my office feng shui. I'm serious. If you come to my office. So your your window's facing the right direction? Your absolutely. Door's facing I the right paid direction. a lady like Kim to come. and what? It's not. You don't do feng shui, though, do you? A little bit because there are again emotional um, yes reactions yes. to the way things are positioned. Absolutely, so, the flow a little of bit. money mm-hmm. isn't there like a flow of money spiritual? It has to set a certain way. My desk faces the east. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't. I don't get whole, into. There's a whole thing. Here's what I want to get into. You're listening to at home with Charlene on KHTS award winning KHTS, the kitchen. The kitchen. <laughs> Can we talk about the kitchen? Absolutely. For a second? The so, kitchen and the bathrooms are the number one. All right, so come into my kitchen, and what are you going to do? Well, home staging is more from a perspective of uh, providing you with advice where you can take those pieces of advice and maybe update if needed to sell your property, and or we come in and we decorate. So we make the kitchen feel like um, more like a happy, fun place. Yellow so- flowers. Right, and yeah. we are not, you know, putting blenders and you know, uh-huh. <laughs> work items on your kitchen counters. We're putting beautiful decorative items on the kitchen counters. So decluttering, putting away. The toaster know. goes away. Absolutely. So mm-hmm. what? What is out? Uh, yellow flowers. I get that. What else? Sure, and just decorative things like vases, maybe a bowl of a fruit, or um, you what can. What a have... second, Kim. Charlene's laughing at me. <laughs> Why do You've the never flowers been... have to be yellow? Because <laughs> talk it's your to favorite color. Kim's an Yes, but Kim's an expert. Bright flowers, fluffy flowers, right? Fluffy. fluffy now they're yellow. fluffy and yellow. Okay. <laughs> All right, keep going. So definitely flowers. Do you want to have kid. pops of color? Because that's going to show up great in the in the photograph. So doing different things along there. And that could be an open cookbook with a nice colorful page. It could be you know, oil bottles or even a tray that looks as though companies coming over set up with some pretty dishes and things of that okay. nature. Okay, did you island. put cookies out? Um, well, we're not there every day. We come in and we decorate once. Oh. So that would be, you know, certainly something that a um, homeowner or an agent could do if they're doing an open house or a showing. Um, they do say that having cookies baking helps, but. Um, mostly you want the kitchen and bathrooms to feel as updated as possible. And there's every level of doing that from just painting the cabinets and putting on some new knobs and a new That's what light I was fixture. Ask you. So you actually mm-hmm. paint too. We do, we you can do provide, um, resources for that, but home staging is generally where we're going to come in and decorate the space so that it's emotionally, um, but you don't paint. I, I don't then personally use paint. Cody's no. painting, uh, <laughs> college. What do you call your thing? Uh, Starving painting. Uh, we could start something. I'm not much of a painter, unfortunately. Well, well, you don't have to tell the public that. We'll find a painter. I'm afraid they'll find out soon enough. So. Is there a color in the house? Like, I grew up, everything was white. What what colors work? Neutrals work. Uh, right now, of course, gray is, is pretty in. Um, I won't say that. I'll say gray doesn't necessarily work in every home. Because gray. you have warm tones and cool tones. Wait a your, second. Your office here is Matt, great. Matt, slow down here, Kim. <laughs> Matt, is Gray going to photograph properly? Gray photographs well, yeah. One of, really? one of the common problems that I have uh, in a home is color casts. So uh, when you when you walk in or when when you're <laughs> – You just make me – your language, <laughs> you make me laugh. What the color cast? 
Cody, what's a just take a, a shot at what a co- color cast is? <laughs> um, not, like a palette? I honestly have no idea. Is that well, what it is? Uh, not quite. It's uh, if you've ever used like a fancier camera, you'll see a setting on there called no, white I've balance. No, I've never used it. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the wrong guy. For like you know, cell phones and yeah. stuff like that will automatically t- they'll automatically set your white balance for you. Um, but have you ever taken a picture indoors and everything comes out really yellow or orange looking? That's because the, the color of the lights, um, our tungsten lights are very orange. Um, LED lights can have a little bit of a, a yellow color cast. Mm-hmm. Um, el- uh, fluorescent is kind of green. I don't know if I have tungsten. I have like GE light bulbs. I, I love your I, show. Charlie, I can't wait. Every third, I learn so much on your show. <laughs> I know. I mean, this is really. And we crack you up every time. No, I, but I love the guests that you bring on. Yeah, it's fun. Good. See, we're only bringing the best. These are like maybe two of the best guests. We have. What are you guys yeah. doing next week? Can you come on back? <laughs> Absolutely. Probably. An extension. Tungsten from lighting. I have GE light bulbs that I that I don't know where I get them at the drugstore. You'll you'll see uh, um, a, a Kelvin uh, temperature color on a lot of lights. So if you go to Home Depot and they have that giant aisle of all the lights, you can actually you know you'll have warm warm white, warm yellow. Mm-hmm. Um, they have different color schemes, and you'll you'll see down there it'll say fifty two hundred K or or twenty three hundred K or whatever. So those those color temperatures are the are the slight hue of white that it's that it's putting out. Some's a little more yellow, some's a little more. I guarantee blue. You my wife would have married you in a heartbeat. I I wouldn't even know. <laughs> to look for this. this is, I'm going to look for, I look for the base of the light bulb comparison to the base of the light bulb I have that I'm exchanging it for and make sure that those match up <laughs> <laughs> and I don't really pay attention to anything else. That's why the light secondary. looks different in all places. No, but it, it, seriously, uh, the theme of the show today is get top dollar mm-hmm. for your home. Right. And both of our guests are really bringing up good points. Lighting is so mm-hmm. important. You want to walk into a home and, and just what Kim said and go, wow, this I want to live here. And you know what? I was just thinking as we were talking, there's some basic things that you could do to just upgrade your home on your own. Painting old kitchen cabinets yourself. You know, putting new knobs on your kitchen cabinet. Those are things you could do yourself. Just all, all re- matching el- bright white LED lights will right. kind of transform a house. Because one of the things that... One what of kind the f- of money do you have that you can afford LED lights? They, they are kind of pricey. Yeah. Are you kidding But me? when you're selling your house, it could make a, a, a drastic difference because... Uh, some of the feedback I get from some of the real estate agents is they'll say the photos are great, but when people come to the house, it's kind of dark and, and they're like, is this the same home from the photographs? Um, and that's because I bring in artificial lighting. I have these uh, remote powered strobes that I use to light up the interior space for two reasons. Uh, one is to prevent color casts. So if I have, if someone has tungsten lighting in their kitchen and they've got white cabinets, all the cabinets are going to come out looking yellow. Um, but if I use uh, some strobes to light that up, then, then those cabinets come out looking clean and white and the view out the windows. Uh, so have you ever noticed that when you try to take a photo inside, it either comes out black with a great view of the window or it'll come out um, exposed for the interior, but it looks like an angel's trying to come through the window. It's like bright white and glowing. So to, to balance to balance that, the only way to... Um, you know, because the the exposure values between outside and inside are so different, uh, the best way to balance those is to increase the internal light so it matches the the exterior light. I would just hang with you for a week just to improve my vocabulary. <laughs> just, just so you can have the right light bulbs <laughs> yeah, in your house. I, well, <laughs> the show is called At Home with Charlene. I'm telling you, every Thursday at 2 o'clock, we just get the best guests. So back to Kim. Uh, so Matt said... Uh, the lighting. So this is another, right? Are you involved in the lighting too? Absolutely. And we do bring in lamps. So we do stage vacant homes where we bring in 100% of everything and stage it like a model. Do people uh, rent that? Is that how it works? Absolutely. Rent so out, yeah. we create a package for them and present them with a project price and they make a determination based on you know, which rooms and which pieces and so on. And um, that included in that, of course, is going to be lighting so that when the agent comes through and tours a home, especially in the winter like we have now, that there is some lighting. Some bedrooms in South Korea here don't even have overhead lighting. So you do need to provide Mm -hmm. something. And it's also important if you're in a lived-in home that um, a lot of times we don't actually add a lot of extra window treatments unless something feels a little sterile for some warmth because that also adds... um, too much um you know it, yeah. it, br- it brings the light level down in the home you guys got to come back in a month we're, we're running out of time but both of you are just fascinating me both of you just i know you know what you're doing now uh maybe you want to use my puppy service because i think if you put a puppy in a home 
And people, you know, Matt, you're laughing. Talk about emotional but, buys. But yeah. I'm thinking about starting a little puppy service, and then Kim can use my puppy service. <laughs> you walk into a home, there's a cute little, right? Cody, stay with me on this. You walk into a home, and there's a cute little puppy. I mean, you're feeling good right off the bat. Team up with yeah. a shelter and bring in a cute little puppy. I got to tell you, a cute. Uh, how much time do we have before we go to break? I got about a minute. And when we go to break, this is Charlene's special time. We're going to talk about, we're going to be doing a lunch and learn. So we'll t- talk to you about that in a second. So I'm up in Carmel with my wife and we're walking. You guys been to Carmel? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're walking down the street and there's this guy, young guy, probably your age, Matt, on the corner with a little puppy. And he's sitting down with the, I mean, the cutest little Labrador white puppy like you see on TV. Every woman stopped. Every woman stopped to pet the puppy, talk to the young guy. So I'm starting a uh, puppy service. <laughs> what about dog walking? I, <laughs> I can't do that. You can't dog walk? It's too much no. work. <laughs> We're going to come right back on the show we call At Home with Charlene. I'm telling you, I can't wait. Every Thursday I learned so much about real estate. Uh, Today, our two very special guests, how to take the right picture to get top dollar for your home and how to stage your house. We'll be right back. You've seen them on Spike TV's Bar Rescue. Now experience the Cajun Bell in Canyon Country. The Cajun Bell, a terrific mix of SoCal Creole and the most flavorful handmade cocktails in our valley. It's the happening place. Beginning with Blues Night every Wednesday from 7 to 11. Thursday is Karaoke Night with All Night Happy Hour featuring $1 tacos. Friday is Ladies Night with the coolest DJ in town. Check out live cover bands every weekend. The Cajun Bell on Soledad opposite the Canyon Country Post Office. Canyon Country now has a one-stop printing shop. Feathers, photo signs and printing. Feathers, signs, banners, business cards, embroidery, photo restoration, picture framing, car wraps, all under one roof. Transfer your old videos, slides, and 8mm movies to DVD. Print custom t-shirts and jackets with your team or business logo. Create a banner for your school. It's all possible at Feathers. Feathers, you've driven by them daily on Soledad across the street from the Edwards Theaters. Discover Feathers, Canyon Country's one-stop printing shop. Buying your home can sometimes be challenging. That's why Charlene Gill with CSMC Mortgage is your Santa Clarita mortgage expert. What's important to you is to secure a loan at the best possible rate, to have a professional guide you through the process, and to close on time. Charlene's 23 years in the mortgage industry and her personal expert knowledge in the Santa Clarita Valley makes her your mortgage expert. Contact Charlene at hometownstation.com forward slash Charlene. That's hometownstation.com forward slash Charlene. If you're in danger of losing your home to foreclosure, you need an expert. Hi, I'm Rich Sherman with Alta Realty. I've helped hundreds of Santa Clarita residents save their homes completely for free. I've got just over 20 years' experience and a loan modification success rate of over 80%. I can negotiate better terms with your bank, and I can save your home from foreclosure. And again, we do this completely for free. So if you're in any danger, please call me today at 661-714-1400. That number again is 661-714-1400. I'm Rich Sherman with Alta Realty. I'll be happy to help you save your home for free. There's only one Santa Clarita plastic surgeon who is Yale trained and board certified, Dr. Justin Heller. To be a board certified plastic surgeon like myself, what that truly entails is about five to seven years of honed surgical training in reconstructive, all areas, as well as aesthetics, which means your facelifts, your breast augmentation, your body contouring, true training and board certification. In fact, that's the only board certified area that can be achieved in this realm. Dr. Justin Heller. Warm, understanding, always available for guidance because he's local. Hellerplasticsurgery.com Hometown. Your hometown station. Try to make uh, uh, business show fun uh, because she's not only a professional, but she's fun. She's real. She's authentic. Her name is Charlene Gill. Charlene Gill. So if you're thinking about refinancing your estate, now will you do regular houses or just rich people's houses? Well, I would love to say just rich people houses, but that's not how I work. No. I, I I like any any type of loan, and it's not about the loan. It's about working with people, and it's about creating a relationship that leads you into you know future business and future relationships. And I think that's more about what I like to give. It's not just a mortgage, not just a rate. It's 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 a lifetime of a a, a client that you hope to have. 
Yeah, I love that. You know, I've been on radio 20 years, uh, Coach Ron Tunick speaking, but your guests the last few weeks, really, I've learned so much. Today, I think it's one of our best shows, and I'm going to have them back in a month. Okay. Uh, staging the house, taking the right picture, and Twilight, I love that. Uh, and I, mean, then, I think, personally, that's my favorite photo opportunity that I see is the twilight. I, I, I think if you're gonna if you're gonna do that you should shoot for that time frame. Sorry, I know that's a very tight do you do time weddings? frame for Matthew, but Matt, do you do weddings? <laughs> Um, I, I do do the occasional weddings. I do some corporate events, oh, um, cor headshots. Okay, but, but I'm serious about videoing. Really I want people to see what Charlene does in the day. Don't you think that'd be cool? I think people would go to YouTube to see what you do. Okay. Yeah. You probably sit back, smoke a cigar. <laughs> you have your staff come in. Uh, I, we have a fun day. Yeah. Uh, we're going to video it. You're te I'm not teasing. We're going to video it. So what do you want to talk about? This is your editorial time. I wanted to just run through the house real quick on easy steps you can do um, that aren't are cost effective. Like I mentioned, you know, painting or updating paint in your kitchen cabinets, knobs in your kitchen cabinets, maybe a new faucet for the kitchen sink, um, maybe a, a new curtains in some of your rooms, uh, maybe on your sofa, just a few new throw pillows, um, just mainly decluttering and clean. When somebody walks into a home, they want to see a nice, clean, organized home. Um, in the lawn, you know, make sure the grass is cut, all the trees are trimmed. Uh, you know, what, what's the little bark type thing that you could put in your... Wood chips. Wood chips. Yeah, wood chips. Cheap, but it's really nice when they're fresh and new. Plant some flowers in the front, maybe into your backyard. Just spruce it up. A little bit of money goes a long way. The, the wind blows the wood chips. Just plant flowers. Yeah, plant flowers, but the wood chips, I don't know. Keep Can them. I ask him a question? Sure. Isn't the garage... Now, the women... I agree, 91%. You said 91, I really think... I think you were being nice. I think 99%. But the garage... Uh, is critical too, right? It is. Um, it's not nearly as critical as the interior and exterior of the home and the presentation of that. And especially in Santa Clarita and California in general, a lot of people use their garages for storage. Um, so as long as it's sort of neatly packed and it's sort of off to a side that isn't um, noticeable so much when you first walk out through the door, then it would it's probably in the best spot it All can right. be. Well, when we have you back, I want to get into garages. You're being too too nice because it's <laughs> your first time here. Uh, we have a new segment called Interest Rate of the Week. So if you're thinking about, uh, as Cody is, buying a home, what, what is a 30-year fix today, Charlene? I would say depending on credit and depending on you know down payment, you're looking in high three, low, low four. Still pretty good. Mm -hmm. Is the tax laws going to affect, uh, you think, buying real estate or selling real estate? You know, some of the tax laws might hold back some of your write-off potential in the higher price points. But, I, I mean, I see changes in our industry every year. I, I see changes that come and go. And we really never have a suffering market, sort of say. We'll have a seller's market or a buyer's market or uh, a market where maybe we're not using 30-year fixed mortgages, but we're using more type of your arm type products. So you always have an industry that is prospering one way or another. Now, what is as a mortgage professional, 23 years in the business, I mean, you look like you're 18. What a blessing. Uh, <laughs> is your mom and dad listening to the show? Um, I, I've you asked them, my you mom. You should thank them every day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've asked my mom if she's tuned in. I don't know. She's in see me. I don't know if she can we get our show, yeah. show out there. Yeah. So yeah, I know I have a lot of friends that are starting to they tune in. They can listen on hometown station. That's true. Hello. Yeah, that's true hometown too. Hometown station. But yeah. Well, yeah, go ahead. Uh, is there such thing as a 10 year loan? I know there's a 15 year, right? You have a 15-year fixed, a 20-year fixed, a 30-year fixed. Oh, there's a 20-year? Uh -huh. What are those rates? You're probably looking into the mid-high threes. So the rate is lower. Right, because gotcha. you're, you're paying your mortgage off faster. So your mortgage per month is going to be a little bit elevated, but your interest rate is going to be a little bit less. So Okay, question. On a five-year, I want a five-year fixed. How much is that? No, you're probably looking at low threes. Okay, so why wouldn't but I you're, get a But you're looking at a five-year fixed amortized over a 30-year term. You're not looking at a five-year fixed fixed for five years. My question goes, why wouldn't I get a five-year fixed and then five years from now get another 
low rate. Well, you could. You just want to make sure that the market's in the same position it is at the end of that five-year term because you would be refinancing into whatever current market conditions you have. You should push five-year loans because think about it, you get paid every five years, <laughs> right? Yeah, but you know what? I, I'm a little bit more conservative when it comes to these types of financing transactions. And if you have such low rates in the three and fours, why would you not secure a long-term loan at that rate? You know, unless you're going to be expert, here for a know. year or two, everybody's situation is different. But if you're planning on staying in this home, raising a family, a long-term loan, you don't have to worry about it, worry about anything adjusting or changing That's on you. a good point. We have a lot of corporate people, so they're moving, they're here, and we have government workers, they're, they're mm -hmm. three or four years, so I don't know. Yeah. Well, we should yeah. talk about it one day on the show. We will. Yeah. But you know what? We're also going into a new year. We're not going to be on air until the new year starts. Really? There's a new so, year coming up? We have a new year coming up. Where did this year go? It went by. Where I, did you know, this I'm year glad go? I'm glad we're leaving this year. <laughs> really? I, I'm ready for a, a new year. Yeah, there's a lot of friends and family who suffered pretty significantly yeah. significantly this year. So very um, a lot of sad stories, a lot of positive stories. That's mm -hmm. kind of the way life is. Yeah. Every year, you have the good, yeah. the bad, and the ugly, right? And some years you have a little bit more that touches you closely than others and this just happened to be that one year where it was a good year, but you're you're looking forward to a new year. So next year, you're going into your second year being on radio. That's you're, right. I you're can say I'm good. a two-year record vet. holder. Yeah, and you're a vet, a veteran. It's a great show, ladies and gentlemen. You're just tuning in. Every Thursday at 2 o'clock, you will learn so much about real estate, finance, mortgages, prepping houses, staging houses, mm -hmm. taking pictures with ambient light, the twilight time. I love that. Lots of large vocabulary. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm going to grow my vocabulary. Just hang with you, Matt. I'm just going to grow my vocabulary. We'll have a vo vocabulary list for the end of our show. And next year we have two more great guests, right? We do. Next, we have, next, next, uh, we are going to have. We're going to talk about home inspections and pools and what to look for. Can you get more exciting music, please? I'm begging you. Okay. I'm you don't like my. You. you don't like no. my coming in with this. There it is. I, I, That's very sweet. Maybe it's like you. It's very sweet. What do you think, Cody? I kind of like it. See you next week. End of our show. And next year we have two more great guests, right? We do. Next, we have, next, next uh, we are going to have. We're going to talk about home inspections and pools and. What to look for? Can you get more exciting music, please? I'm begging you. Okay, I'm you don't like my you. you don't like no, my coming right. in with this. There it I, is. I, That's I, very sweet. Maybe it's like you. It's very sweet. What do you think, Cody? I kind of like it. See you next week.